All right, let's go fishing. All right, it's fishing time. I'm gonna look in the shark to see where I'm gonna go deep dropping. Check out the uh, the areas around here. Cat key area. I was recommended that area. Uh, by another fisherman. All right. I cannot anchor to when I'm doing the deep drop because it's gonna be a few hundred feet there. So hopefully the current won't be that bad because when the current is really bad, it pushes you around very fast. And I'm gonna be putting a four pound lead weight on my rod, on the new rod. So let's see how that goes. I've never done this before. So let's see how it goes. I did my own rigging. I put, I believe it's four to five hooks on the rig, and I'm gonna put different types of bait there. I'm gonna send the autopilot to take me there. Okay. There's a 
big boat there already. Big yacht. Never been there. First time. It's about four to five miles from Honeymoon Harbor. structures there from previous uh, buildings probably. The ocean is very calm here, but I don't know at night time how bad this area is going to get. Because if this area gets rough at night time, imagine how far you got to travel to get to uh, close to Honeymoon Harbor. There's some type of structure there, like a lookout point. In that area. That's a little beach there. You can get off by a dinghy or swim into the little island there. The water here is uh, amazing too. I'm going a little slow. That way, I don't give this boat here, this big yacht, a big wake. But now it's time. See, there's a lookup point. It's like a little umbrella there in the corner. The big game, big game marina. get the uh, bait ready. Now this rig is a little dangerous because you got a lot of hooks and the weight. So you got to be careful. You don't get tangled with the weight. The weight is very heavy. It's uh, four pounds. All right, very deep waters here. I already got the rigging done right here. And I got the weight. So definitely cannot anchor here because it's too deep. You would need a 500 uh, foot rope. All right, this is the crimper for the crimping. I'm gonna have the pliers here just in case and two pairs of gloves standing by. All right, 
right, so this is the pull right here. Look at the rigging. I'm gonna tie this one to this end here. And what I heard about deep dropping, once this goes down there, and the fish have never seen bait down there. So they're gonna be quite hungry when they see all, all this bait. It's like a, it's like they open a Publix down there. For shopping is a pleasure. Now I gotta get the weight. Look at this, four pounds. And I'm gonna get the weight. I'm gonna take this off. Put it right through here. I found that this uh, metal crimpers, they're awesome. Just look at that. Once you put them in, and once you crimp them, they're not going nowhere. That's it. Look at that. That crimp is not going anywhere. Now I gotta get the bait ready. And for that I have this container. That way I don't make a mess in the deck of the boat. How am I gonna get this ready? I'm gonna get the lead. I'm gonna place it right here where the rod holder is. You wanna put the lead in a safe place because if that lead falls and you got all the hooks in your hands, it's not gonna be pretty. You remember this two pieces of uh, conch? They're going straight down. And I'm gonna release the bait little by little bit. Okay, everything looks good, but I'm gonna drop it. A little bit over 300 feet here. Now we're just gonna wait. I know that lead is really pulling that pole down. We're just gonna wait now, see what happens. Let's go to a 150 feet instead of uh, 300. See what happens. Uh, 200 feet, it looks like I never reached the bottom. And to go deep dropping, you have to find the bottom. So it looks like I fell through a deeper area and my weight never touched bottom. So now I'm gonna go to 200 feet. Hopefully there I can touch bottom. All right, now I anchor at 100 and 40 feet, that's what the chart says. There's definitely something there. There was 
one hook uh, that already had no bait on it. So I was thinking maybe a fish was there. right here it's not legal in florida this one uh but this one is so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean this one out and take it home clean I'm 
sent that fish. Take a couple more squids. I gotta clean this one and put in a zip lock for today's dinner. So this is gonna be tonight's dinner. Strawberry grouper. Yesterday lobster and today it's gonna be strawberry grouper. The big fish, I cannot cut it here because if I do, I have to eat it whole. I can't, I can't take it back to the steak. So it's a big waste. So this is the perfect size. One fish to take and one fish for dinner. I cannot ask for anything better. Now I get two, two in the same hook. Two fish. Yeah, I know I'm gonna get some comments and people are gonna be saying, where's your cutting table? I haven't thought about where to put one yet. But for now, this has to do. All right, I'm gonna cut the tail. Not that much meat in the tail anyway. I'm gonna put some uh, island spices on it. Add a little flavor to it. I'm gonna put it in this zip lock. Put a little more. And that's it. This is my dinner for tonight. I'll put it in the cooler. And I am going to drink a beer now. I'm exhausted. It looks like I'm gonna lose that rig. I'm gonna have to cut it. And only that weight, the weight was like $27, I believe. So that's very expensive. The whole rig is probably about, I don't know, maybe like $35. But I'm gonna make a new one. To me, a fish went under a rock and just stuck the weight down there. What can you do? I'm just letting it hang out there so that way, let's see if it get disconnected by itself. But I doubt it. So, 
in here you need a lot of weight you need a lot of weight to uh, get your bait that way down there I'm gonna put the description below on these crimpers and also on this leader look how easy it is this is incredible easy you put this in here through the little hole right and then you put this here and then you put it right through the little loop and it will not come off this is way better than any knot you could do see this now this little crimper here you crimp it by size one time you scoot it over to a little bit to the side here crimp it again this is not going anywhere look at this perfect crimp this is where I put my threaded wire through right through here and also to put my hook look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it right here through the uh, crimper get it through and it has to be the right size you can't just get any size crimper all right there we go like this this is the first time I ever do this so see perfect right I'll go like this twice one in the front and another one right here look at that that's not going anywhere all right so we're done with this now the sad part is to go out there and cut that threaded wire which has my $27 weight on it which is okay what can you do nothing else you can do it's two o'clock already so i'm gonna call it quits tomorrow i'll continue another day of fishing i still got another four pound lead on me so i'll be able to fish tomorrow and i got plenty of squid and bait i'll try another spot tomorrow go to Honeymoon Harbor and have myself a beer. I'm gonna put a little bit of soap on the deck. Going back to Honeymoon Harbor.
All right, I'm gonna take a little break now. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make conch fritters, how to prepare them and cook them. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and navigate safe.